America was forever changed. In fact, the world was forever changed 17 years ago on that fateful Monday morning on a day very much like the one we have here in North Central Washington today. The crystal blue skies were darkened forever by the attack of 9-11. Kashmir is the location for the 911 memorial, and especially on this day, where 11 o'clock this morning, folks from all throughout North Central Washington gathered to remember on what happened on that fateful day 17 years ago, but also what happened after that day 17 years ago. That was the focus of Rufus Woods, formerly of the Wenatchee World, as he talked about how the communities and communities still come together across the country when tragedy strikes. Well, what I see every day in our communities reflects a strong commitment to service and to sacrifice. We see this most profoundly with our first responders and the military veterans who have served this country. But we also see the sense of community growing in our Wenatchee Valley and in North Central Washington. For Senator Brad Hawkins, 9-11 was a very memorable day because he was boarding an airplane at Pangborn Memorial Airport on that fateful morning. That uh, a second plane had crashed into uh, the second Twin Tower. And I say crashed, but really as we know now, it, it was an attack. And uh, it really, the whole plane was really taken aback by that. And it, the, Pilot followed the announcement by stating that the FAA had suspended air travel all across the United States and we wouldn't be taking that Horizon flight to Seattle, that we would be deboarding the plane. The 9-11 Memorial Committee Chairman Tom Green talked about the next phase of what will happen here at this memorial in Kashmir. But they have loaned us a stone from the field of Flight 93 where the aircraft went down. We received the stone about a month ago in a box, and I asked the board, I said, what do you would do? And they said, keep it in the box for an appropriate time. I thought, well, this would be a cool place to open the box. And they said, no, we have not built phase two yet. So you know, phase two is, uh, is coming up. So it's exciting. We will end up having something from each of the major sites of 9-11 when we get done and hopefully dedicate uh, that next year. So let it be said that the folks here in Kashmir and in North Central Washington and throughout the nation and the world will never forget what happened on 9-11 17 years ago. Reporting in Kashmir, I'm Eric Granstrom for the NCW Life Channel.